2014 si prevede l'introduzione di significativi cambiamenti a seguito di una revisione globale del fenomeno di manodopera straniere e degli specifici settori che richiedono lavoratori stranieri. Le riforme dovrebbero riguardare un nuovo visto da fare molti entro il valido 5 anni per i rappresentanti o per i dipendenti di società multinazionali che investono in Russia l'autorizzazione. Guys, I've got a problem. I've been diving in since yesterday on this collaboration contest through the Create Commune and editing work from some of these guys like Brian Manier and, and many others. And it has made me realize that I just am not happy once again with my post-processing style. It sucks because it makes me want to take all of my past images, pull them down, burn the whole thing to the ground, and start fresh with a new body of work. But I'm not going to do that because that work represents that time period in my artistic vision, if you will. But what do you do? How do you get out of that funk when you feel like you just can't find that post-processing voice like your edits? They're okay. I'm not completely hating them but they just feel like there's something missing and I just don't know what that something is. And it's really frustrating, but I'm having a blast going through and, and editing these images from these other photographers. The one thing that's really kind of tricky about it, when, when I edit my own images or when you edit your own images, we always have kind of this compass for ourselves, which is our own emotional experience when we took that picture, right? So we have that that place that thing that guides us because we bring ourselves into that so it already gives us an idea or informs us as to what that final image should feel like or what we hope to make it feel like now editing someone else's work is really different because obviously I wasn't there at Yosemite with them I wasn't experiencing those same things and I wasn't the one behind the shutter so it's kind of like you know, I look at the scene and see what grabs my attention and try and highlight that. And it's really interesting looking through the other submissions for this to see how people are tackling it. Some are these insane, excellently done Photoshop masterpieces where they're adding in planets in the sky and I mean all this crazy stuff. I'm not that good and, and it's not really my thing, but the work is beautiful. And then I look at mine in comparison and it feels so plain and so simple. But I think there's something in my style that that's kind of how I, I edit. It's kind of my personality. I'm, I'm a straight shooter and what you see is what you get. And it seems like every time I get to a point when my post-processing leaves me feeling like it's missing something, the thing I come back to every time is just a nice, simple, clean edit. Now, it doesn't necessarily give a, a photo any distinct style that I can discern maybe I'm wrong um, when other people look at my images I'm not sure they see them and think well that's one of Dave's images but um, you know it's kind of that base starting point where I always go back to is a nice clean timeless edit and I don't know where I'm at with my editing process right now and it's something I've been thinking a lot about as I've been going through and editing the photos for this contest I'm in on Instagram so curious to see what you guys do and how you handle it when you feel like your work just kind of sucks and your editing style isn't there and you feel like you haven't been able to find your voice it's something I know a lot of us struggle with and there's probably really no easy answer to it either but I've got to get in the woods more for you to think about 
lots more for me to think about and we'll see what comes of it. Take care.